Good morning, you guys. So I'm just about to leave because I need to go get tested for the film industry because I'm going to be on set for the second half of this week. So it's currently 10.20 and I'm just going to head out the door now. This is the fit. The weather's finally getting nicer. So I'm like, you know what? I don't really want to wear shorts today. I kind of want to look cute and put on a dress. And I just put my Birkenstocks on. I haven't worn these in so long. But yeah, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the fit because I was feeling cute. And yeah, I'm gonna head out the door. So I just got back from my COVID test, but I just wanted to talk to you guys for a second, do a little bit of a moment with Michaela. Recently, <laughs> I've been living my life kind of like I'm in a video game. I've just been really trying to manifest a lot of things. And treating life like it's a video game almost makes it that much easier because it's like spending money. Who cares? It's a video game. Like, it's not serious. Looking at life that way and taking it not so serious is such a good thing for me. And personally, it helps me just manifest and helps me truly live out my dream life because... I'm not taking it so seriously. If you're always worried about money or whatever you're, it is that you're worried about in your life, that's causing stress on your body. And at the end of the day, you have to realize that we're here not for a long period of time. Like your life is going to go by like that or I can even die tomorrow. You never know. So in every present moment that I'm in, I want to be doing what makes me happy. And honestly, just trying to live the most stress-free life that I can live and if something happens to me that is out of my control there's no point in worrying about it because when something is out of your control worrying about it is not going to make anything better if anything it's just going to manifest more negative energy or whatever it is but when something is out of your control there's no point in worrying about it because there's nothing you can do about it so at the end of the day if you worry about it or not it doesn't even make a difference if anything it's just like i said it's going to be bad to worry because you're putting that negativity out there but yeah i've just honestly been living my days like i'm in a video game trying to be super present and just not really giving a shit like everything happens for a reason and you just have to realize that and that like really helps me no matter what comes my way i'm just kind of thinking to myself like look this is happening for a reason and it's okay to feel emotions as well if you want to feel sad about something if you want to feel angry about something that's okay obviously we all have these emotions for a reason and we're here to feel we're here to go through tough times but once you've kind of put yourself through that emotion felt that emotion you've gone through it you can come back out stronger. That mentality has just helped me so much because I'm like, who cares? I might die tomorrow. I'm just gonna do what I want. If this happens, who cares? We'll figure it out. It's not that big of a deal. There's just so many things that we're technically supposed to stress about in life, like money, taxes, your job, security, um, everything like that. And it's like, I feel like our everyday lives, we have so much pressure with all of these things, like how you look even, like so many things. And sometimes you just gotta not give a shit about any of that and just live your damn life. Because at the end of the day, when you die, you're not gonna care about any stupid thing you were worrying about. So yeah, honestly, life is just not that serious. And it's just so cool that we're all here living this experience. It's so easy to get so wrapped up within society and putting all that pressure on ourselves. But it's just so important to zoom yourself out, okay? Zoom yourself out really realize we are on a floating rock in the middle of the universe we're here to live our lives to the fullest and not live our lives stressing because of this society that was man-made sometimes it's really hard to put into words what i really think in my head but i hope you kind of got that <laughs> i hope i kind of got the point across there but anyways i'm gonna go in now I'm probably going to go out again soon because I want to kind of walk to just the drugstore to get some of my cellar water because I ran out of that and just a couple other random things. But keep you guys updated. I'm going to make breakfast though because I'm so hungry. So I just made myself a leftover coffee from yesterday because I had my family over and I brewed a huge pot so we had so much leftover coffee so I just made myself an iced coffee with that. It's actually so good. Um, I just put it in the fridge overnight and it's perfect. 
And then I ended up making myself sourdough with peanut butter, banana, cinnamon, and honey. This used to be like my go-to. I went through a period where I was having this every single day and I haven't had it for a while and I've just been really feeling like it this morning. So yeah, we're gonna have it and that's my breakfast. Me and Brittany just came on a walk because I wanted to check out a new gym but I'm kind of locked into my other gym's contract so I'm going to try to break that contract and then get the gym mem a gym membership with Brittany and Lexi so we can gym together so we can go together but if not it's not a big deal because like once my contract ends then I'll sign up but anyways we're just walking to Walmart now because I need to pick up a couple of things I got to get like my cellar water some waxing strips yeah it's such a beautiful day it's like 30 degrees so it's so nice and hot summer's here baby guys i'm so excited my fab fit fun box came in the mail and i would love to thank them for sponsoring this video i'm gonna go sit down right now and give you guys a haul I'm so excited, like this is like Christmas, honestly. So if you guys don't know what FabFitFun is, it is a seasonal box that has a whole bunch of goodies in it. And there's everything from fashion, beauty, fitness, and home products that you can receive. And the box is sent once per season. Literally one single item in this box can be valued at what you pay for the whole entire box, like for all the products. So it's honestly such a good deal. And many of their products that they send in their boxes are from female founded um, companies, which is so amazing. Okay, I'm so excited to open this. I literally cannot wait. So here's what the box um, inside looks like. It comes with a bunch of products that can also be customized. So this fall box actually has a value up to $300, but you can get your first seasonal membership with my code for $44. 99 okay it's time to get into the haul okay first thing i see is this living proof um restore repair mask deeply nourishes and reverses damage and this is so funny because i've been wanting to try living proof for the longest time now because i always see their products in the stores but i never really get myself to buy them because they are on the pricier side there's more living proof products in here too so if i look at the value of this product right now it's definitely worth more than what you're gonna pay for this box. This is a silicone free hair mask treatment. Oh my God, this smells so good. Packaging is also so cute. And then we also got a conditioner and a shampoo, adds fullness and volume. I've honestly been needing, like I'm about to run out of, oh my God, this smells so good. I'm about to run out of the shampoo that I currently am using and I need to use a specific shampoo for my hair that has no silicones or parabens because it needs to be just like to preserve my keratin treatment. So I already know that this is a really good brand and I'm so excited to try it. Okay, next thing I got are these dryer balls. They're 100% organic wool dryer balls. Here, I'll show you guys. And they're all, they're ethically sourced and handmade. I love that so much and I'm definitely gonna be using these. Okay, next thing I got is this green tea and aloe natural body polish by The Lifestyle Company. Ooh, this looks so good. Is this a made in the usa i love shower products because it just like motivates you when you have like good shower products it motivates you to go take a sh nice long relaxing shower and this is random but when i'm in the shower i like to listen to spa music it just really sets the vibe there's that next thing i got oh my god this is so exciting the glow recipe pink juice moisturizer hydrating and soothing i've been also wanting to try this brand as well but i'm pretty sure this moisturizer alone is like 60 dollars. like i'm not even kidding you and look at the packaging it is so just like pretty and aesthetic. I cannot wait to try this out. I've been wanting to try their products for so long now. Look at the watermelons on here. That's so cute. And then I also got these Lumify Redness Relief Eye Drops. These are honestly good to have if you ever like have itchy eyes or something. I don't even have any at my home right now. So excited for that. Those if I ever need them. And then last thing in here is the Dr. Brandt Hydrating Essence Tone Soothe and Revitalize. So you just spray this evenly on your cleansed skin. Oh, this is cool. I actually just ran out of my toner and I've been needing like a new one. I just haven't gotten one yet, but I'm excited to try this. I love like face mist. It just feels so good. So yeah, that is all that I got in the box. I'm actually amazed on 
like how much value this all this stuff is in comparison to the price of the box like i'm not even kidding you this is actually insane so yeah FabFitFun is actually such a great way to save money this year and also to just try out new brands and products but yeah so if you guys want to shop them you could click the link in my description and use my code michaela to get your first seasonal box for 44.99 so yeah i am partnered with them on this video but honestly these are all my own thoughts and opinions and i love them so much but yeah so don't forget to click the link in the description if you guys are interested and yeah okay so i just got back from walmart um i changed because i'm just gonna be chilling now i have a couple of friends coming over tonight wow i'm being social i literally never hang out with friends to be honest and a friend that i haven't seen in like a long time like we used to be best friends back in the day and she messaged me just like hey do you want to catch up and hang out so i was like of course and yeah it's kind of like really heartwarming and sweet to like rekindle friendships from the past especially if you like really were best friends with them you knew them a long time ago it's kind of cool because you're in like super different stages of life since when you like last saw them so yeah honestly like that's stepping out of my comfort zone because i haven't hung out with somebody quote unquote like new or different in a long time and I always say like, oh, I have no friends. I have no friends, but I'm also not really making effort to reach out to people either, which is on my part, like my fault. So I can't be complaining because I just kind of vibe being alone too. You know what I mean? Yeah. So anyways, there's two people coming over tonight in probably about an hour so i just changed because it's more comfortable and practical so i stopped off at the liquor store and i just got a bottle of wine so we can drink that tonight if they want and then i just got some micellar water because i really like i ran out so i needed this, this is how i like to take off my makeup and i got waxing strips i use these for my armpits and yeah i wax my armpits i don't shave and i only wax them every like two weeks i don't really grow much armpit hair so it's really easy to wax them and then I just got a new mascara because I got a sty in my left eye so I don't want to reuse the same mascara that I used before because it's like super old and I'm just going to throw it out. I used to be in love with this one. This is the CoverGirl Clum Crusher. The last one I was using was a L'Oreal Telescopic but I thought that I'd get the Clum Crusher just to switch things up and I got it in the shade black brown because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like more natural like that. But I'm kind of feeling mascara tonight so I'm going to put some of this on just like retouch my makeup because I was sweating and yeah. What is up you guys so it is currently the next day and i am unfortunately very embarrassingly kind of hungover i literally had like barely anything to drink and i think it was because i didn't eat anything yesterday like i basically ate breakfast like the peanut butter toast and then that was it i just forgot to eat yesterday and sometimes that happens it's like whatever but i swear that was why i'm not feeling good this morning like i was feeling so nauseous this morning and i'm usually fine like i can have like a lot to drink and as long as i drink my water like i'm usually fine and i never really feel nauseous or hungover the next day but this was just like what the heck and it's like am i getting older or is it i think it's just because i didn't have anything to eat so like the alcohol couldn't soak into anything in my stomach so that like had to be why but i was feeling like shit this morning so that was off to a rough start tuesday off to a rough start literally tuesday and i'm hungover like what that is so weird but anyways i was like really craving to go eat breakfast out and so i'm just gonna go to starbucks walk there with Brittany, and we're just going to i'm just gonna get like a little like one of their gouda sandwiches with like a drink because apparently their drinks are 50 percent off today like their cold drinks i don't know if it's true or not so we're gonna go in and see anyways that's a stitch i literally had a bowl beside my bed this morning because of how nauseous i was feeling it was disgusting <laughs> it's fine society labels these weekdays as oh you have to be productive on a monday you have to do this on a tuesday but it's not true just live your life day to day like who cares <laughs> i'm just gonna go down and get Brittany, and then we're gonna walk to starbucks but yeah so this is the fit i'm just wearing a baby tee with these new tna shorts i actually got these for 50 percent off um i was so lucky to get them they were only like 25 dollars and then i just got this hat too which is so cute but that's the fit <laughs> Okay, 
anyway so we got back from the mall a bit ago i just had some lunch and to be honest i am just not feeling good today like my i'm having like iud pains plus i just not feeling good from the alcohol yesterday i had a matcha and that's supposed to help with like alcohol the next day i'm pretty sure like i don't know if that's actually true but it's supposed to so that's why i got a matcha because it's supposed to help but like honestly i don't really like the matcha from starbucks it tastes so bitter i like the way that i make it at home so like one million times better i really didn't enjoy it but whatever i'm gonna edit now soon but i wanted to show you guys this shampoo that i got so i ended up walking into um just like a random hair salon in the mall and this is the shampoo that i got it had like sulfate and paraben free and everything and the lady there said that this is really good and this should maintain um, my keratin treatment so i'll let you guys know how it is it smells really freaking good but while we were sitting in starbucks we met this guy and we were just like talking like with Brittany, and he was like so spiritual he like believed in all the same things we did and it was just so cool to have like a really good conversation with him and it's so funny how like the universe aligns you with certain people on purpose like i don't believe anything in life is a coincidence like us meeting that person today was not a coincidence that we met him like that conversation was meant to happen we were meant to meet him he was meant to come in our lives you know what i mean even if it's just if even if it was just for that one conversation and it's just crazy how everything works Maybe because like i don't think i've ever just randomly met somebody at a coffee shop before and started talking like that so it's a really cool experience and when shit like that happens it just really goes to show that like everything is in alignment people come into your life for a reason people leave your life for a reason and the universe knows what it's doing there's no coincidences like everything really does happen for a reason small and big things just got news i have to wake up at 3 a.m tomorrow because i'm on set tomorrow and i just got my call time so <laughs> i'm not excited about that okay i have you guys like on a tripod right now so it might be a different angle than usual but i am currently just picking up a package at fedex because i wasn't home when they were trying to deliver it so i'm just they dropped it off here at their center so i'm just about to pick it up i just came from a covid test i've been on set yesterday and the day before that and it was such long hours the first day was like 15 and a half almost 16 and then yesterday was i think 13 hours so i'm exhausted i slept in a little bit today and i haven't done much i literally just want to go get the test and it's 12 o'clock so yeah my hair is so disgusting though because they were doing some like hairdo on set and so my hair is full of hairspray and teasing and it's gross so i think i'm gonna wash it but i'm gonna be on set again monday and tuesday next week so i don't really want to wash it because they're gonna mess it up again but i think i am just to have nice hair for the weekend and also you guys i'm at 99.8 subscribers right now i am so close to 100k so it might be happening today and i can't even fully wrap my head around it right now like it's actually insane so we'll see if that happens today i'm gonna be vlogging the day and like i'm actually gonna cry because i can't believe it like i can't even wrap my head around that it's almost just about to happen and it might happen today i don't even know like what to say what to think right now so anyways i'm gonna take you guys around my day and we'll see but <laughs> Can I please get a grande brown sugar oat shake and espresso, please? Yeah. Do you know what I just randomly realized? If it wasn't for GPS, I wouldn't be able to get anywhere. I go to so many different addresses all of the time, and it's like, what would I do if I couldn't type it into my GPS? Like, it's so crazy how technology has evolved so much, and we're so, like, dependent on it. And it just makes me think, like, I literally am so dependent on my phone like which isn't like a bad thing but in terms of like getting places I need my maps you know what I mean because there's no freaking way that I would be able to go somewhere off of a literal map like are you kidding me how did people do that back in the day like I remember my parents going on road trips with us and they would pull out a literal map and I'm like how like it just doesn't even make sense so I got one of the packages that I needed, but then the other package, they said that it wasn't even there yet, which is weird because they told me it was, and just this confusion, I was in line for so long. Hello. Hi. Is this? How's your day going? It's good. How's your day? I'm good. I just started. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm off at 8. 8? Eight? Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty long shift. Uh, nice 7, 8 hours almost. That's good. Do you like it here, working here? Yeah, I've been here for two months. Two months, really? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. I've never worked on a side 
Oh yeah? Do you like it or is it really? It's really new. Okay. It's fun. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. I just love running into really like just people that kind of make an impact. Like she didn't have to talk to me, but she did. And that was so sweet. See, it's just like little things in life like that that just really can make somebody's day. You know, if they're having a rough day and you compliment someone, you never know. You could have literally saved their life. Like you have no idea how much of an impact your words mean on someone. And even if they don't like tell you, oh my God, like that made such an impact on my life. Even if they don't verbally say it, you never really know. So yeah, it's just so important to be nice to people no matter what, because you never know what somebody's going through. And yeah. So I got my brown sugar oat chicken espresso, like usual, because why not? Today's a day of hopefully celebration. Yeah, I'm gonna drive home, but I'll talk to you guys later. Cheers, it was fun. We can go windows. Have you a vlogger? It's a vibe. <laughs> After a few minutes, your arm's gonna start hurting though. It already is. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Wait, it's just gonna be talking. Hi guys. We're going out for dinner to celebrate 100,000. Yes. Round of applause right here, everybody. I had a few drinks, so I'm a little out of it. <laughs> Me <But> too. <laughs> we're both out of it. Hence why she's vlogging right now. Yeah, I had stage fright at first. I'm so hungry. Same. I've had like two bites of salad for lunch. Mm. We're leaving. <laughs> it's on. I'm the vlogger for the day. Vlogger of the day. Over my camera. My neck is cramping. This thing is heavy. <laughs> I'm a week, okay? We're gonna go home and see the real number. Oh, I'm excited to watch the live countdown. I'm like to prepare my Instagram story. <laughs> it's like almost 12 o'clock too. It's like we're waiting. Oh, literally though, what if yeah. I hit right at 12? Dude, no, that would be weird uh, though. That would that be actually would be so sick. Weird. <laughs> Like what if? It's like exactly 12 <laughs> and it hits just like New Year's. Oh, I'm excited to watch this. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Oh, <laughs> entertaining so shit. <laughs> Our server was so lit. No, he was so nice. And if anybody knows JC Kalen, the YouTuber, you know, like Keenan and JC, he looked like JC, like completely. So he did. He gave if anybody the same knows that is, he was the same vibe, like yeah. tattooed, like, like everything. Same vibe. Like Loved literally it. looked like everything. Like, body. like I felt like I was talking to him. So JC, yeah. if you ever see this, we talk to you. I'm a fan. <laughs> <laughs> about this without crying um i just want to say like how grateful i am for you guys and like just like you watching my videos it, like means the world to me because like this has been a dream of mine for so long if i never like actually followed my dreams and pursued this like this would have never happened and like i'm just so freaking grateful like a hundred thousand subscribers is like like last year, this was like, I was starting from basically nothing and I was manifesting this and I knew it would happen and I made the choice to follow my dreams and none of this would have happened without my boyfriend Joel so I really want to give him a lot of credit too because he really pushed me and he helped me and if it wasn't for him, like this wouldn't have happened and I'm truly like living my dream life like every single day through what I do I love you guys so much like having a community of people that watch me for me is like the best feeling in the world and I appreciate you all so much and I hope that like through my videos I can make a difference and like bring a smile on somebody's face or I don't know just make a difference in your guys's lives and um please take this as a sign like if you have a dream and you think that it's unattainable like nothing is out of reach you can do anything that you set your mind to no matter what it is and just don't ever doubt that i love you guys so much and never forget that anything is possible bye see you in my next one <laughs>